the criteria. So this time uh, we talk about structuring of the content. So this is like how the content flow has been maintained in the writing. So this corresponds to the way the document is structured. Again, give it some levels. So I'm going to create two levels for it. So you can score a maximum of five points if let's say it's well structured. So the content flow is well maintained. And let's say I give you three points. So that's my second level. If it is moderately so the content flow is moderately structured so this time two levels for this particular criterion you can score a maximum of five points if the content is well structured and three points if it is moderately structured let's add another criterion so again click on add a criteria and this time let's talk about grammar and or grammar punctuation a punctuation and spellings so this component deals with the grammatical constructs punctuation and spellings in the document so again add some levels so let's say everything is excellent okay these are the points so let's say five points maximum excellent so uh, the grammar spellings and punctuation has been is This is one. Let's add another level to it. So let's say moderate. So the grammar, spellings, and punctuation are moderately taken care of. That means there are some issues that you can highlight here. Third, let's say I give you a one point if it is below average. The essay is really weak on this component. So let's say there are some serious issues with the grammatical constructs and spellings or punctuation. So of course, uh, there should be a well-defined description so that the student can well understand the problem and deal with the issue accordingly. So this is how a rubric is created. You can, of course, add more criteria and you can add more levels. But after this, what you just have to do is once your rubric is ready, you just have to click on this save button. So once you click on save, this rubric is now ready to be shared with the students.